Some people use fidget spinners to diffuse nervous energy or whirl away stress. Now researchers have found a surprising new use for the spinning toys, separating out blood plasma for diagnostic tests. The new approach, reported in ACS journal Analytical Chemistry, could be useful for doctors in regions that lack electricity and other resources. Before doctors can perform many types of blood tests, they must separate blood cells from plasma, the yellow fluid that contains proteins, bacteria, viruses, metabolites, and other substances that can be used to diagnose disease. They most often do this by centrifugation, which uses high-speed rotation to sediment blood cells. However, centrifuges are expensive and require electricity that might not be available in resource-limited regions. Chen Fu Chen, Chen Cheng Chang, and colleagues wondered if a commercially available fidget spinner could generate enough force to separate plasma from red blood cells with the flick of a finger. To find out, the researchers placed human blood samples in tiny tubes, sealed the ends, and taped a tube to each of the three prongs of a fidget spinner. They found that by flicking the spinner with a finger three to five times, allowing it to come to a natural stop in between flicks, they could separate about 30% of the plasma with 99% purity. The separation required only four to seven minutes. To verify that the plasma was suitable for diagnostic tests, the researchers spiked blood with a protein produced by the HIV-1 virus, separated the plasma with a spinner, and performed a paper-based detection test. The inexpensive, simple method detected clinically relevant concentrations of the viral protein in only a drop of blood.